Hello, in this video, we're going to take a look at a geometry book from the 60s. That's right, this is from the 60s, so it is from the past. It is very different from modern geometry books. You're, you're not gonna find a modern book that's written uh, in, in this way that has this uh, exact content. And it's called Geometry, and it's written by Fisher and Hayden. It's published by Allen and Bacon. And the reason I bought this one is, well, I, I collect math books, and Allen and Bacon, they have a lot of really nice books that they've published in the past, so uh, I'm a fan of that old publishing company. I don't know if it exists anymore. This book smells amazing. Mm. And apparently it was owned by someone named Esther, because there's an address with the P.O. box inside, but I won't show it. So Esther used to own this in the 60s, perhaps. She had a P.O. box, and she was from St. Mary's, Georgia, I believe it says. So Geometry by Irene Fisher and Dunstan Hayden, 1965. So I think this is the first, this is the first printing. Usually these books come with dust jackets, I think. I, I, perhaps the version with the dust jacket was just out of my price range, or I just couldn't find it. And then here, let's, let's read the preface, see what it says. The geometry, this geometry course follows the recommendations for college preparatory mathematics made by the College Entrance Examination Board in the report of the Commission on Mathematics, New York, 1959. Wow, so old. So old. And it just goes on and talks about you know, the reason for their choices of mathematics, which isn't super interesting. Let's just focus on what they actually contain. So some informal geometry here, a preparatory chapter, three-dimensional graphs, how to draw pictorial views, pictorial views of straight-edged objects, plain view and front view of straight edge objects, curved surfaces, and the sphere. Then here we have uh, a system of postulates. That's one. All kinds of stuff, right? Look at all that. And then we have similarity, congruence, and symmetry. Mapping, it's really important and curved surfaces and area and volume. And let's just turn the page. And here's some more topics here so you can see. So one of the things about geometry, oh, this is really useful here, these mathematical symbols. So one of the things about geometry, at least in today's world, and at least in the United States, if you go to college, and you want to get a math degree today, like let's say you go to college in the University of, I don't know, I'll just make up a school, uh, Cincinnati, I don't know, I've never been there, but just pick a university. Chances are you can get your bachelor's degree in mathematics without formally studying geometry. Now well, you might say that's horrible or you might think that's good. I honestly don't really have an opinion on, on whether it's good or bad. Um, I, I just know that it's not required for math majors, but it is required typically for math education majors. So if you are, if you are thinking about like teaching high school or middle school or elementary school, uh, you can get a math education degree. And what that work, how that works is usually they prepare you for like the state tests and they give you like whatever your state requires so that you can teach in your state. Uh, and they always require geometry typically. And I think that's because geometry is taught in high school and middle school. Like it's taught before you go to college, right? So that's why math education majors take it, but not math majors. Wow, this is cool, look at this. Let no one untrained in geometry enter. Wow, otherwise they will be beheaded. <laughs> so like, so hardcore, right? I feel like these mathematicians from the past were like, you know, you differentiated wrong, game over, I will duel you, you know? it's uh, They didn't mess around. Inscription over the entrance of Plato's Academy Center of Higher Learning in Athens, 4th century BC. Yeah, you don't, you don't mess around with those, those Greeks and their mathematics. Um, they, would, they would go to war for that. <laughs> the word geometry comes from the Greek words ge or geia. Ge geia, I think? The name of the ancient Greek goddess of the earth. Yeah, I used to play Magic the Gathering, and um, there's a card... It's called, and I, I'm, maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, so please correct me, Gaia's Liege. And it's a really cool card. It's one of my favorite Magic the Gathering cards, but is it Gaia? So let me know if, I, if I'm saying that wrong, if, if you know. Yeah, 
Cool. It's cool. It has pictures and stuff. I mean, that's that's nice. I also like the the font size. It's a little bit bigger. So I was just looking at an advanced calculus book in in Spanish before making this video, and it's just very different, very small. It's also from the same. Well, it's from the '70s, and the font is smaller. This is a lot more light. This is much lighter reading than advanced calculus. Yeah, look at that 3D graph. That's cool. Good, good work. Yeah. And then here's some exercises. Let's, let's skip ahead. A system of postulates. Let's see what this says. Geometry was used by the Sumerians 3000 BC for practical purposes such as building temples and palaces and planning irrigation works. The early Egyptians knew enough geometry to redetermine the boundaries of farm property after the floods of the Nile had washed away the landmarks. They also knew how to compute the amount of grain that could be stored in a silo of certain size and shape. Cool. Very cool. So they, they did know how to do some mathematics, right? So yeah, math is, I feel like it's the purest of, I guess it's a science, the purest of the sciences. Uh, it is a very pure art form. You can call it what you want. Uh, but it is very pure in some sense. If you think about all the other uh, fields, you know, physics, uh, computer science, which was, which was a really popular field now, you know, tech is, you know, ruling the world today. And that comes from mathematics. A lot of the early computer scientists were mathematicians. Um, so, yeah. Wow, well, I got to give it away. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just emanating. Just, oh, it's intoxicating intoxicating. There's, there's chemicals. There's some science behind. There's some chemistry that explains that when these books get old, they release chemicals. Um, oh, what's this? Look at this. Brahmagupta's formula in the form is an L on the left side. Cool. The radius in a circle. We have exercises here. Yeah, nice book. Uh, I, I don't believe it has uh, has an index. But let's look at let's look at the back. It's got tables, but I don't think it has. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't have any answers, which is really unfortunate. Um, all about proportions, some supplements. Yeah, there's there's no answers in this book, which, again, very very unfortunate. Um, but that's what you get. I, I mainly got this as a collectible, you know, to peruse it from time to time. But yeah, there's no. Uh, there's no answers in the back of the book. Imagine taking a course with this, and I guess maybe math education majors took courses on this back in the day, or maybe maybe it was math majors who did. Maybe it's just changed in recent times. I, I don't know. I don't know anyone who, um, I, I don't know anyone personally who studied math in the 60s to, to ask them uh, if they took a geometry course, but yeah. If you took a geometry course for your math degree, let me know, I'm curious, because uh, it's not really something that is offered a lot for math majors. And that's, that's why I don't have um, that many videos on geometry books because I, I personally didn't even take a geometry course for my, my degrees. So yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. If you want to learn math, I have courses, by the way. Check them out. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. Uh, they're actually on Udemy, but if you get them, uh, check out my website because I've lowered the prices. When you use my links, you get a low price. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe if you want to. Uh, if not, that's okay too. Um, I just wanted to make this short video to show you this really cool book. It smells great. Another whiff. Oh, I can't stop smelling it. It's Geometry by Fisher and Hayden. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.